Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Young and the Restless. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. The easy way out, is this really the end of Jordan? If there's one thing we can say about Jordan on The Young and the Restless, it's that she's certainly got a flair for the dramatic, from wigs to elaborate schemes, not to mention her tendency to set things on fire. Jordan's kept the Newmans on their toes from the moment she's shown up, but now she's pulled off something completely unexpected and downed a vial of poison. An alarmed Summer learns the truth about Claire, and Jordan pulls an ace out of her sleeve. As the end of the Tuesday, March 19 episode, which you can read here if you missed it, Jordan told Victoria, Claire, and Nikki after they confronted her that it was time for Plan B. She whipped out the poison that she claimed was three times more powerful than what she used at the lake house and downed it. And then, after a few more taunts, she collapsed onto the bed as her captors looked on in shock. But is it really the end? The ladies were of two minds about letting her, with Victoria arguing that she shouldn't get out of paying for her crimes and Nikki shrugging that she swallowed the poison willingly. Claire, meanwhile, seemed torn between the two, and whether they call for help or not may come down to the young woman whose life was stolen by Aunt Jordan. And honestly, it's a toss-up which way she'll go. Jordan slipped from prison, disappeared in a fire, vanished in a conveniently large ventilation system, and hidden in plain sight with the help of a wig or two more times than we can count. And she hasn't even been around for half a year. But as for whether she'll die or not, we may have to just wait and see. Spoilers for the rest of this week indicate that Claire's going to struggle to connect with her new family, but is that after being left alone by the only family she knew growing up after Jordan dies, or because she decided to save her wacky aunt against the Newman's wishes. With Young and Restless preempted from March Madness Thursday and Friday, tomorrow is going to be the big cliffhanger day. Chances are pretty darn good that we'll see more of her on Wednesday, though the show may end up dragging out her fate until next week. Then again, this could all just be another trick by her only to buy more time to make her escape. She may have called this plan B, but we're pretty sure we're halfway through the alphabet by now as far as her plans go. If this is the end though, we've got to hand it to Jordan for going out spitting venom right up until her last breath. That woman is nothing if not psychotically consistent. Revisit all her foul deeds with our photo gallery covering Jordan's reign of terror in Geno City below. Young and Restless Preview Claire's struggle screams red flag, and spoiler, may be the only one to spot the threat. On the heels of Nikki, Victoria, and Claire informing Victor that they need to confront Jordan face to face comes a single young and restless spoiler for the episode after the encounter goes down. And it doesn't bode well for the Newman family going forward. The question is which, if any of them, will notice and sound the alarm. Young and restless twist. Claire's path forward brings a new job and big relationship drama involving spoiler. As viewers know, Jordan is locked up in a dirty dungeon thanks to Victor flipping the script on her master plan with an assist from his son Nick and his handy-dandy taser. He must have picked it up for peace of mind after the Cameron Kirsten debacle. Maybe others in Geno City are packing too. Danny sure could have used one when Phyllis came a-lunging at his lips. We jest. That would be mean. In Jordan's case, use of a taser was perfectly warranted and Victor is certainly fortunate that Nick arrived when he did, and that he managed to tiptoe up on the madwoman without alerting her. That Nick Newman is like a cat. No woman should be a target of abuse, don't stay silent. Getting back to Claire, she was pleased to hear that Jordan had been dealt with, but outwardly concerned that the mustache might leave her great-aunt in the hellhole to die a slow, agonizing death. Once assurances had been made that Jordan would be handed over to the authorities in due time, she relaxed and joined the team heading over to get closure by having a little face-to-face. -face. Not everyone knows yet what goes down in the basement dungeon, and we can't tell ya, but it's safe to assume, thanks to a teaser about Nikki's plan backfiring, that Jordan either escapes again or dies. Either way, Claire would be shook. The spoiler for Wednesday's episode then deals with the aftermath of whatever goes down with the women and Jordan. It must be significant because it leaves Claire very off kilter. Specifically, the teaser says that the Newmans support Claire as she struggles to connect with her new family. She was having no trouble connecting with her new family before the visit to Jordan's crude cell, 
so that tells us that her new struggle likely stems from whatever happened there. We see that as a definite red flag. Why? The new struggle suggests regret and slash or guilt on Claire's part, which means some part of her, however small, still had an attachment to Jordan. If that tiny seed of regret or guilt grows, the Newmans could be in trouble when they least expect it. Claire could cultivate her feelings of resentment toward them in secret and be brilliantly deceptive about it, as she was trained to do her entire life. The Newmans who have rallied around Claire because she is Victoria's daughter aren't likely to see anything concerning in Claire's reaction to whatever goes down with Jordan, but the sole standout will surely go there in his mind. Yes, we mean Adam. Adam has been reluctant to trust Claire's rehabilitation from the start, and even last week he was still questioning her motives. The problem is that even if Adam sniffs out something concerning, the others aren't likely to heed his warnings. That said, there is at least one other Newman who doesn't quite trust Claire, and that's Summer. She left her first meeting with her new cousin with her spidey senses tingling, knowing that there must be a dark side to Claire's story if Victoria was unwillingly to divulge it. So Summer might listen to Adam, and her dad Nick might too. Despite Claire being Victoria's daughter, he's been more standoffish than the others, perhaps because he's still traumatized from what went down at the lake house. He did get stabbed and almost watched his entire family die, after all. It's hard to just say, bygones. It's comforting to know that if Claire regresses over her guilt about Jordan and inwardly turns on the Newmans again, there is at least one, and possibly more family members that might see trouble on the horizon before it strikes. Share your thoughts on Claire's struggle in the comments after taking a look at our photo gallery of Jordan's reign of terror on Young and Restless below. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching.